Hello, this is Mr. Brissella, and we're continuing our discussion of consumer loans, and we're continuing discussing calculating the average daily balance on a credit card. I've already done one problem like this. Now we're going to do another one. I think we will do problem number six. Let's look at this one. Use the given inform the give, uh, average daily balance method and the information below to find the credit card finance charge for the month of August. And the interest rate is 18%. So like the other example, I'm going to make a table with the date and then the transaction. Wait, let me do this. Let me start on Tony page, it'll look better. Okay. So we're going to have to take date, transaction, um, balance, number of days, and then the last column is number of days, times the balance. Hmm. This is the month of August. So the starting balance was four hundred seventy dollars. So we have August one 9, 11, 14, and 16th. Now this number of days should add up to be however many days are in the month. In the month of August, there's 31 days. That'll help us figure out if we've done anything wrong. So, the credit card, it begins with $470, that's the balance. Then they charge $75, so that would add $75. Then they make a payment of $240. Then they charge 126 and they charge $46. This is how most credit card companies calculate the amount of interest. Okay. So let's get these new balances. Starting with 470, adding 75, 545. Then a payment of 240, so that knocks it down to 305. But then they start building it back again. Add 126 dollars. They charge 126, and then add 46 dollars. 477. Now. August 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The balance was $470. Then starting on August 9th, it went up to 545 and it was there August 9 and 10. So two days. On August 11th, 12th, and 13th, it was at... 305, so three days. On August 14th, he charged that $126. So 14 and 15, the balance was 431. August the 16th, he charged $46. And it stays like that until the end of the month. So the 16th through the 31st, counting both the 16th and the 31st. You would go 31 minus 16 is 15 plus 1. Let's look and see. Did we add these up correctly? 
10 plus 21. Yeah, that's giving me 31. Okay? Be sure not to put 15 right here. If you have to, count it out on your fingers or look at a map. Okay? If you look at a map, you'll see August 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's 16 days altogether. Now let's do this. What we're doing here is we're adding up 470 plus 470 plus 470. We're adding it up eight times. That's why I say number of days times the balance. 3760. 545 times 2, 1090. 305 times 3, 915. 431 times 2, 862. And then there's those 16 days of the balance being at 477. Now let's add up all of these. 37, I'm taking all of these numbers, adding them up. Fourteen thousand. 259. Okay. So, okay. So, I added up those numbers. Now let's divide 14,259 by 31. That's going to get us the average daily balance. So what would y'all call the average daily balance? $459 and Hmm, what is that? 97 cents? Fourteen two fifty nine divided by thirty one. Four hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety seven cents. So that's what we're going to use. That's what the credit card company would use as your balance for every day. And now let's calculate the interest on that. You take. That average daily balance times the interest rate. You're doing I equals PRT. And the time is 31 out of 365 days. So, 459.97 times 0.18 times 31 divided by 365. Oops, what did I do wrong? Interest rate can't be. Oh, I put a times right there. Let me clear all of this. 459.97 times 0.18 times 31 over 365. So the interest they're charging for that month is seven dollars and three cents. So this is how the banks calculate your interest, the interest they're charging. Almost all credit cards use the average daily balance method. They're taking the balance on each day. If you could imagine a August calendar. <coughs> August 1 through 8, $470. August 9 and 10, the balance 545. So that's what we're doing here. So we're adding up eight 470s, two 545s, and so forth, 
and then dividing by 31. And then I equals PRT. Okay. Now let's do one more problem. I'm not sure this is a credit card problem here. So now we're going to look at problem number seven. A student graduates from college with $3,900 in student loans with the 8.3% annual simple interest rate. In order to reduce his debt as quickly as possible, beginning next month, he's going to pay $1,000 per month toward the loan. After his first payment, how much will he owe on the loan? Well, the first thing we're going to have to do here is calculate the amount of interest. See, he's going to be paying $1,000, so that's going to reduce this $39,000, but not down to $38,000 because they're going to add on some interest too. So let's calculate $39,000 times... 8.3 percent, 0.083. I'm doing I equals P times R times T. Well, this is just one month, so we'll just say 1 12th. We're not told, oh, it's August or April. If we knew for exactly which month it was and we knew how many days, we'd go uh, number of days over 365, but we don't care. So I'm 39,000 times 0 0.083 times 1 divided by 12. Okay, enter. That gives us the amount of interest. So they're charging him $269.75. The question we're trying to figure out is after he makes this payment, how much will he still owe on the loan? So the new balance after that payment is going to be 39000 plus the interest and minus 1000 okay. So... How much money will he owe? $38,269 and what is that, 75 cents? Now the next month he'll make his $1,000 payment and they'll be calculating the interest on this. So they'll repeat it. So the faster that he uh, pays off, this, the less interest in the long run. Okay? Th these are some very good, so this one was a short one. Those average daily balance problems can be a little lengthy, but they're certainly good realistic problems because that's exactly what the credit card companies are doing. If you have a credit card and it's charging you interest. Okay? So uh, that's our discussion of consumer loans. Hopefully you've had a chance to read about them in the book and uh, maybe to watch the Pearson video as well. But those are the examples I was working today. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll be discussing something new the next time. Again, this is Mr. Brissella. Thank you.